jambo guys this is a guy zeki and welcome to just zeki show mazi it has been a while since i posted a video so today i've decided to do something different for you guys especially for those guys who are in kenya who are in uganda who are in tanzania who are in the united states thank you so much for watching so guys thank you for your support as well so actually today the video is about the accommodations and the lifestyle in doha uh, in Dubai and in Gulf so many people they have been asking which kind of accommodation is there in uh, Gulf or in Dubai in Qatar so today I've decided to do a small video to show you around how is the accommodation how people they are sharing the accommodation how big they are how small they are how clean they are how dirty they are like the actual video so I did this video before. It's not all about the content. About uh, it's about also sharing the information. At least was here How is the accommodation before you leave Kenya? Before you leave your country, you need to know how is the accommodation. Cause manze place ya kulala ina chitumbwa gasana. Especially someone like me, si zilala namtu anangorota. So you like to know kama ni sharing accommodation na mani like single bed, double bed. How is the accommodation? So guys. So what we'll do, I'll not talk too much. I'll just go direct to the videos I did from back then. And then we'll move on as we talk and as I explain whatever you see on the video. And uh, see to song and belly. So guys, let's go to the videos. So guys, welcome to my video, to my first video. Kiangalia Apple, this is the accommodation in Australia. I believe every country has in Australia. So Kiangalia Apple ni main gate karibu, naona kuna paka hapo. And then we go straight to the kitchen. Kuna dustbin kubwa hapo. There's another cart. And then the first people we meet kwa kitchen ni wakena nani? Wapatan, the Pakistanis. And then kuna Sri Lanka ndo ya mefunga kitamba. And then ikisonga songa kuna paka. Kiona kuna mtu ametoka shopping hapo direct with the accommodation. So as you move on, you see this is the accommodation shared by all nationalities. Kiangalia huko juu. Uh, what wako day off for me up inje they are calling their loved ones from Sri Lanka na kunywa chai hapo Pakistani anatoka mosque and you know kapa na piga story wa Pakistani so as you can see this is the this is the accommodation this is the laundry area so kangalia hapo kuna washing machine i'll pause kidogo the washing machine is there and the uh, washing machine is being shared by everyone actually kama sasa friday on friday Unakuja uneka nguo zako hapo, mingine unapata wanaosha jioni, mingine wanaosha asubuhi, mingine wanaosha overnight, especially on Thursday night, watu wendangi off, wanendangi wendangi kazi on Friday. Ama Dubai on Saturday night, watu wendangi kazi Sunday. So what they do, mtu wanakuja wanaweka nguo zake zote hapo, zinaosha akiona movie. You know, kuna kwa na saa zingine commotion time ya kuosha nguo. So mtu na prefer washa usiku, ndiya lale the following day, the whole day, you know. So that is the washing machines, shared washing machines. Sometimes ina chapaga na hakuna mtu wa kutengeneza. The accommodation supervisor does not help. But you see how is it dirty. Ukiangalia floor vile ni chafu. So let's move on. So ukiona ini laundry machines, zingine zime chapa ziko hapo. Izi ni washrooms. Angalia floor vile hiko ni chafu. The washrooms are shared with all nationalities wa Pakistani wa Sri Lanka they don't clean wanakoga watu wachafu sana so ukiangalia hapo kuna tuktuk kuna watu wameka nguo zao za mjengo hapo you know uh, yeah as we move on ukiangalia upstairs there unaona kuna window ac ac ni you know ile kitu ya kukul the wakati wa joto kama hiyo masaa unaona sasa hiyo ni saa labda saa 5 mchana ama saa 6 it's very hot outside then you see the area vile naka it's much you know tankia maji kwa hapo extra mm, watu wameanika nguo kila mahali mm. so let's move to upstairs twende tuone upstairs inakaje unajua sasa ni industry area nyumba zimetengenezwa the maximum floor they can make i think is 2 or 3 maximum now is in the juu kama Kenya so hapo ni nasonga the first floor you see from the top na mulikiwa hapo angalie atuingie kwa accommodation ndani so kiangalia hapa ni nje accommodation kila mtu ako na kando kake kakufua kazi zingine washing machine haifanyi hapo nje kuna malipo watu wanaeka viatu mwingine amechonga waru hapo unaona yeah 
as we move on na songa mbele viatu mandatu watu wana change ya wengine viatu kwa accommodation ama kwa room na depend so ukiangalia tumeingia kwa room ya wahindi hapa angalia see how these people are living angalia viamrusha manguo and how they are staying you know wanakaa tu kama you know wamejirundika tu pamoja so as we move on naona kuna huyu hapo hapo anapigia bibi yake <laughs> anapigia bibi yake video call na watoto wake anafurahia as you see next to that blue guy wearing blue kuna window ac sometimes hiyo ac na chapaga unfortunately huyu kuna leo kitanda ya juu na hiyo ac ni mpya inaweza piga baridi nyingine hata utoroke ama iko iko na kelele imeharibika inaweza ku disappoint bro nishaikuwa kwa kitanda ya juu Mazee kitu napiga kelele mara kitanda ya juu the room is full hapo ndio umetoa bed space and you have to sleep there. Lazima uone mateso but you have to to swallow as it is. So ukiangalia hata kwa jamaa melala hapo juu angalia mattress kwa kitanda hapo at the edge. Unaona vitu za black black. Hizo ni kunguni zimekaa hapo, zinaishi hapo. Hizo ni kunguni bro. Mtu unasikia gati majua kuna kunguni. Hizo ni kunguni ebu angalia carefully angalie wale watokodoa wanajua so ukiwa mtaani ukienda majua kama ukijua utakuja kuona kunguni kama hujaiona kwenu kama umezaliwa unajiona kunguni utaziona na hao watu wako comfortable but you can't avoid it unapata mnaingia kwa basi ingia kwa basi hivi kunguni ndio kwa kiti because you guys work together na hao same mnapanda the same bus you live in the same accommodation na nika go the same place mnaosha na the same washing machine But at the end of the day utajipata tu kuna kunguni na huko unataka but the secret you have to be clean you have to wash your clothes lazima uzianike every weekend you have to wash your blankets you know yeah so let's move on so ndio hawa babu kiangalia kama mbaba mzee amekaa amekaa hiyo miaka yote hataki kurudi nyumbani Moja wa wendi wanakuwa na mashida mingi kuliko wa Kenya. Huyu mzee unazapata watoto wake ndio wajaolewa wasichana and they have to pay for their dowry. So unapata si wa Kenya hata tuna shida kama wahindi. Huyu mzee utapata amekaa huko Katara ama Dubai for the past 20 to 30 years. Ajeenda ameenda nyumbani mara mbili tatu but because ya shida mtu anakaa tu ndio asomeshe watoto atafutie watoto wake mahari walipe because maybe amezaa wasichana tu so that is the problem people are facing there in dubai yeah in qatar as well so let's move on and see the next video vile itakao itakuwa yawa wengine hata sija notice look at this bed bed ni double bed but angalia chini ya kitanda so if you can count what wanaishi hapa vitanda ni mbili and then chini ya kitanda kuna watu wanalala hapo look at that video carefully hapo chini ya kitanda hapo kuna watu wanalala hapo imagine chini ya kitanda what so stressing so let's move on yeah that's uh, that's it kwa hiyo room we go to the next one tumeenda tena washroom angalia washroom angalia angalia sink angalia sink angalia angalia how that is the sink oh my god kitchen through the kitchen angalia oh my god hivi ndio tunaishi maisha ya dubai maisha ya doha maisha ya saudi maisha ya gal na mtu hata ana kuna charani hapo kazi yake ni kupiga ripea na ingiza yake ya mfuko so you can do even side hustle kama unajua kushona nua charani nunua stand hapo anza kushona kama unajua kunyoa nyoa nunua mashini ya kunyoa start shaving and start making extra money pesa ya doha na dubai sometime maitoshi bro so guys kuna majo so that is accommodation angalia pale watu wameanika nguo you see hapo nje ndio basi za accommodation zinalala not far so yeah let's move to the next video so hapa is another video hapa ni industry area ndani kabisa as you can see ona vile juu imepiga kumekauka kabisa hakuna watu nje hata mmoja ni wahindi tu wanatembea hapo kidogo so tukikuja hapo tunapata ni friday watu wanaosha nguo 
Yeah, is in laundry area. Yeah, look at this. This is laundry area. Na hii laundry machine, you have to pay for your laundry. Easy free. This is not free. Look at carefully. Ukiangalia carefully. This laundry machine unaweka coin. Ukiweka coin inakuwa kama ile simu ya kitambo. Unaweka coin, unaweka maji, inakufungulia maji, unaweka sabuni and then it start washing. So maybe ni one coin or two coins depends with the accommodation or with the rules. Kuna wale wanaweka one coin for one wash. So kama uko na kashati kamoja it's one coin. Kama and then there's a maximum clothes unafaa kuweka. Ufai kuweka ikuwe heavy again. So the more you wash, the more money you use or you lose. Some companies you pay for your laundry. Some companies they give you washing machine for free. Unatumia kuwasha nguo. So you can see how hard is the life in Gulf. So ukiangalia hapa hawa jamaa wako off leo. Wanaoshosha mwanguo hapo wanamepanga line talk na blanket yake. Angalia hapo ni rooftop actually. Hata si rooftop nje tu. Then naangalia kuna mwanamke tena na sufuria zake anda jikoni kupika. And then up of course kuna place ya maji ya kunywa. Hii ni place ya maji ya kunywa. Hiyo inakuwa filtered. And then watu wanachota, maji ni free na kwa filter but the more you take this water sana sana kumekuwa na complaint sana pale Gulf. Watu wa watu wenye kodoha nime notice nime witness watu wanakuwa na kidney stone why kidney stone na kwa caused by water salty water na salty water iko sana doha watu wengi na wanunui maji they don't mtu ana complain no kidney akikojoa anasikia uchungu sijui akifanya nini asikiaje after gulf but remember ulikuwa na kunywa ile maji hiyo sink yenye kuna salt na hiyo maji iko filtered so what happens to the kidney kidney inaenda kufilter ile chumvi yote ya hiyo maji so then inakuwa overwhelmed kidney kazi yake si ku digest si tumbo so after filtering all the salt salt inaye nakaukia wapi kwa kidney so you have to undergo the surgery to remove the stone so guys be careful ukienda gulf nunua tu maji kwa shelf ni 1 real kama maji ya 20 liters ni 7 real 7 dirham 8 dirham 10 dirham so ukitunua maji ya 20 liters you can use for 2 weeks so in a month you may spend ngapi out of your 1500 salary sipeweka tenga tenga 20 real 20 dirhams ununue maji bana usikue mali ngumu sana utakufa so as we move on ya yeah? as we move on nani watu wako jamaa kwa hapa na enjoy wifi jua ni kale hizi ka kwa jua uh -huh. yeah tusonge tusonge tuone vile accommodation iko kuna kamuindi hapo kana nipatia direction kanaitwa Amir Bai Amir Bai Kechahe <laughs> yeah hapo tunaingia kitchen kidogo eh mwindi mwingine anapita hapa anaitwa Svi nani ah 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 unaona kitchen see how the kitchen kuna kamzee hapo kamekaa 50 years door ona kuna jamaa mweusi hapa anapika ugali kuna jamaa anakaranga ugali kabisa hapa na kutengeneza samulina hapo nyuma yeah ende mbele accommodation ndio hizo si za gorofa these are containers so you see the containers na kugana joto sana so wameweka window ac if window ac fails eh manja utalala usiku bro the easy washroom kitchen see ndio mwingine amefunga leso hapo tumeuse huyo mgeni anapika sijui waru and then i need to show you you see the yellow line the yellow line unaona hapa hiyo ni gas ukiwa dubai gas ina connectwa to every accommodation kitchen amununui gas direct gas ina connectwa from the main port ya gas kuna cylinder tu mahali wameweka kubwa sana ina supply gas to the accommodation so pale hakuna kununua gas kama doha tunatembea na mtungi no every building has gas supply connection sawa so ukienda dubai usishtuke uone gas na ma, na unapika Let's move on by. Let's move on. Ticket ticket. Ana pickers vini waru. Eh tunasonga kabisa una accommodation watu wanaanika hapo kacharani unakaona pale. Lazima watu wapigiwe uh, repair. Tende tuangalia accommodation ndio hiyo hapo kila AC kuna namba. Tuingie hapo namba 28 tuwasalimie. Naingia. Bari zenu kechai bai salamu alaikum naona mnakula kubus ya yeah. 
Ukiangalia wahindi wanapenda kukula kama wamekaa chini na wanakula kama wameangalia kanda waangalia nangi. So wengine we bye si ugeuke tukusalimie. Si amekataa. So ebu hesabu vitanda kwa hii room. Vitanda ni 1 2 3. 1 2 3 ukiweka double double ani watu wangapi? Ona mzee panyele zimekuwa white na hizirudi nyumbani. Ona sasa ni wanakulia au wanakulia gasimia. Mhm yao wao ni merabai tanda ni kama ni 1 2 3 4 5 5 by 2 ani watu kumi kwa room moja imagine hiyo room ya container 10 guys in the same room na imagine si kose kufanya kazi mwingine anangorota huku ngo 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 hawezi lala acha twende tukatafute bafu ndio kama mzee kametoka kuoga haya ndio tuone bafu zao ziko wapi eh hapo muone sasa hizi ndio bafu zingine ziko Dubai na ziko Gulf ziko Doha watu wanaogea nje imagine mwanaume kama wa Kenya mnaoganga hivyo to blue ikiwa nje <laughs> so hapa mtoga aje bro mtoga aje hapo wa wanaoga na leso nyinyi mtoga aje wa Kenya Hey, why did you wanna say too much? In Kenya too much. Anyway, this is the challenges people are facing in Dubai, in Qatar, in Gulf. In the bafu na maji haijai kuwa baridi. Ukienda Gulf usitegemee kupata shower baridi. Maji ni moto throughout na pia hita iko on throughout. Hata uzime maji imehitiwa kutoka huko kwa tank. It's very hot. Hakuna siku mimi nimwaga maji baridi Gulf atoko golf they can witness unatamani kuoga maji baridi joto imekupiga unaingia bafu maji moto anyway tuendelee hiyo ndio bafu na baba anaoga hapo ndio hao wengine wanaosha viombo hapo tu kando and live uh, moves on bro yeah yeah mekula mchele ameshiba kubus see the other side of industry area watu wanafanya kazi huko nyuma ah, ni kunoma that bad bro ni kunoma huko hata hakuna miti hakuna gorofa refrif industry area that bad in the accommodation you see how is the accommodations containers to the next video hapa sasa ni at least accommodation poa kidogo yenye gorofa but ukiingia the masaibu masaibu ni same masaibu ni same kitanda ni mbili mbili kalia kama hiyo kitanda ya juu chini that's one bed na mtu anatala chini hapo inakaa ni mkenya kuna kitanda ya masai eh uh-huh, kitanda kingine juu chini those are two beds so uh-huh. kuna sofa wa kubeta eh juu chini hawa hata watandikagi kitanda those are three beds so far eh uh-huh, wakumbaka na kabati at least mtu ukifika dau unapewa kabati you can put all uh, your important documents or uh, items or something kama pesa yeah this is wako, wako poor and then outside the accommodation naona it cleans much better compared na ile industry area na huko ni kuzuri kidogo but uh, masaibi ndani ya room ni same people are sharing washroom ndio zile watu wana share uh-huh. si kubaya But you see this is a difference between industry area and the other accommodation but the accommodation masaibu ni same you are sharing the bed space up and down up and down uh, especially for laborers and uh, like casual workers wana share to accommodation wana share bed up and down yeah so yeah siku na place ya kuanika nguo hapo Ah this is another video yeah This is another video ukiwa Dubai ama ukiwa Qatar ukitaka kuishi peke yako na you want to stay in a single room ukiona hii room this is a single room hii room uh, iko na iko na kitanda moja na bei yake equivalent to Kenyan money inaweza kuwa up to 
Ethereum is equal 1,500 dirhams, 1,500 rials, or 1,000 rials or dirhams, equivalent to the current currency ya Kenya ni za kuwa 38,000, 35 to 38,000 to 40,000. So you can imagine ukiangalia karum kadogo hivi, because you want to live alone, unalipa, kwanza iyo 30 to 40,000 in salary ya mtu kodoha ama Dubai. So akarum kadogo vile unakaona hivi umse na kaa peke yake na yule beshta yake anapiga story hapo ka kitanda kako hapo ka study table kako hapo then nguo zake ananika hapo juu juu aka karum saa zingine akana AC amenunua fan unaona so saa zingine jote inaweza kugongo na nunua fan na hii fan hata ni akuuliza tu haina baridi it doesn't cool it's only a fan then the room ni hapo kwa ukuta kwa hiyo kitanda and this ukuta ni unaona amehang vitu and then mali nikuwa ni mesimama ni kwa mulango. Na hapo jundi ya nanika nguo na video imesha na karumu kamesha hivo. Can you imagine na tunalipa 45,000 na unasema uko Dubai. To uh, the best country in the world. Kujini Dubai. Habibi, come to Dubai. To your accommodation bwana ya Dubai. Ama ya Qatar. Qatar wili kakua hapo. Then watu mina nulizanga. How is the Qatar? Qatar prisons. Eh, prison masaibu ni same. One hall, double bed. Mattress ndio hizo hakuna hata kitoa kujifunika. Kama utashiko, utawe shiko Dubai wewe ujua hivi ya ndi accommodation ya indio prison, hizo vitanda za prison. So kuini wajanja, I'll just show you around guys. Yo msikuja kusema muku wanyeshwa. Hapa ni prison ya Dubai ya Qatar. Hawa watu wako hapa wanangwajia deportation. Hapo baridi ni nauma sana. So wanangwajia kurudi Kenya. Ndiyo wana wamelala hivu hata awana. Awana nini. Awana blankets. But kitanda ni achuma buwana baridi. We. Ya hiyo ndiyo live bro. Life ya Dubai. Ya kuna kitanda kubwa 6x6. 4x6 kama ya Kenya. Wi-Fi ndi uneza inju, but still Wi-Fi unalipia. There's nothing for free in Doha, in Dubai. Nothing. Yeah. So guys, thank you for watching. Umuona life ya Dubai, umuona life ya Qatar. Vile hiko, that's the accommodation. That's how they live. So people, if you are planning to travel, don't expect too much. If you expect, umenda kukakta nda 6x6. 5x6 at accommodation, free wifi, siju utaenda, siju utai maisha gani. So life in Doha is so difficult. Na watu wawana choice. Watu wawana choice. So that's why people are going there to work. Napata mtu wa melala juu yako ni muindi ya nangorota. Na wezi mfukuza. That's the company accommodation. Kamu unasikia he has bothered you too much. Move on. Figure cancellation is really done. But people are surviving. Some companies are good. They are not mixing Kenyans and other uh, nationalities or another nationality with any other nationalities. No, 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 Filipino, Filipino. Indians, Indians. Or oh, Arab, or oh, Arab. But you see, some companies are not biased. Sana. Wana kwaga, wana kwaga, wana eka wa Arab peke yao. Wana eka wa Filipino peke yao. And then they mix with other nationalities. Kama ni wa Sudan peke yao, kama ni wa Morocco peke yao, kama ni wa Tunisia peke yao, wa Egypt peke yao. Then when it comes to Kenyans, Indians, Nepali, wana mixiwa hivi. Unapata kila saa wana pigana. Life is so hard. So kitu ya mana ukienda Gulf ni do unatafuta, we chapa job, hustle, save do yako. Doesn't matter where the money is coming from as long as inaitua pesa. It can help your family from uh, to leave them from down to move them from point A to B. That's all matters. So guys, chapini job and I wish you all the best. Come on a plan to travel. You have seen the accommodation. Mwana masaibu. So let's stick around and wait for the next video. Hope uh, you guys may subscribe. But uh, let's me share with you guys. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Manze, thank you for the support for those who have subscribed, for those who are watching. If this is your first time to watch this video, remember to subscribe, share, and like, and press the notification key.
Thank you so much, and uh, we are on the road to 5k subscribers or 10k. Ciao, guys. Cheers, and see you next time. Ciao.